Either. I got this. Hey folks, this is Iowa Aether and we're back with some more world tanks. So as you can see, this is Great Bob in the T-409 scout tank. And next to him we have Max Panel. Um, and somewhere back there, there is Lurpy. Uh, so, obviously two artilleries and a scout tank. This should be a really fun game. This is a tier 10. Or, yeah, it's a tier 10 game. That's totally what this is. This is a tier 9 game <laughs> on Fishman's Bay. Upside to this is we have the VK 5502B on our team, which is always nice. Uh, downside is we have a bunch of tanks to charge, whereas they have more heavy tanks and a lot more heavy tanks. Um, so our scouts are going to have to be on point for this. Um, Ooh, looks like an AMX. Is it straight too far? Can we get that? Shotgun. Yes. Yes, we can, in fact, get the shotgun off. Well, I think I know what the title to this video is going to be. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, now that we're reloaded, does anyone want to try T49? Who hasn't tried one already? <laughs> I get the feeling that's going to be a yes. And then there's going to be other others of you who are like, why can't I make those shots? Has T Type 64 pushed on? No, he's still right there. And <laughs> I saw that coming as I'm sure all of you did. That was well played. I am not a fan of this plan though. Uh, I would have stayed down there until I knew I wasn't spot anymore. Just running back up and over this plains um, while spotted is a really great way to get yourself shot. Uh, you know you're just spot, of course, from Type 64. Ooh, sorry. Um, so, of course, everybody knew exactly where you're gonna go. Um, oops. Super Pershing gets a shot into him. He's got two marks of excellence on this thing. Um, though he has done 1400 damage in two shells, so I guess he definitely earned that. Uh, looks like he's going in for the. Oh, no, no, Yoho is dead. Max takes it out. And there's a Jagged Point 8 over there that needs to die out. No, it's dead now, too. There isn't much left on the enemy team that isn't dead. Our VK is not in the town like I thought he would be. He's actually pushing up towards the, the, the village in the center of the map, but that's okay. And back on IS. Mm. I'm going to pause this right here. Um, he was going to pass by the back of the IS no matter what. IS isn't facing him. There's a slope here, um, yeah, there's a T-30 right there, but I still think he should have stopped and fired into the uh, perfect rear of the IS, um, or at least it held his shot until he was going by the rear. Firing into the side like that, he did, what, a couple hundred damage? Um, but mostly he just blew his tracks off, which I guess is fine for as far as holding in position. But if you want to do damage and you have a, a gun like this one, you might as well go for the shot up his tailpipe, right? Uh, and then he gets out and he gets a bunch of spine damage on the T-30 while it's lit and nobody else um, was lighting it. So that's really very nice, a little bit of a cherry on top of that little raid. Uh, and now he's reloaded and going back in and he's just going to shotgun the IS-6 in the side again. Uh, that one I support. Um, there was no way he was going to get to the rear of the IS um, in a particular hurry, so he might as well go for the easy shot. Ooh, he's got two artilleries right here. Uh, either one he could shotgun. Uh, yeah, he's going to go for the one. I would go for the one that's not looking at him. Ooh, that range on that shotgun, though. 
Good lord. Um, I would say that would miss four times in five, but this was not. And the ram, I like the ram. That was a good ram. That is how you destroy an SP by lighter, by a light tank. Especially when you're moving at speed like he was. And then, um, and you're not loaded. You might as well go for the ram. You know, if you know you're heavier than the other guy, you know that you got uh, all the advantages of them and you have the health difference. There's no point in not going for the ram. T9-5, as long as he doesn't uh, let this T-54 behind him, should be okay. Oh, and the T-54 is behind the T-9-5. Okay, great, Bob. You've been getting lucky all game. But you just fired into three allies to kill one enemy. You didn't even mouse over and check to see if you had a line of sight all the way to that enemy. Or if he was behind the T-95 still, which he probably wasn't, but still. Thankfully the shell drops way short, but good lord. You could have popped our 1390 from here. <laughs> Though I would have laughed if you'd popped Mace, because I, or is it, who is on the other side of that? Let's see, M5355, so. Oh, no, that's Lurpy over there. Sorry, Max is over there. If you pop Lurpy, that would have been hilarious. But, um, seriously? <laughs> I understand why you fired, but seriously. <laughs> Anyways, this was an awesome game, and I hope at very least this game has encouraged everyone out there to go and find the T49 and try playing it, because it is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Though, I will note, these games do not happen as often as <laughs> YouTube would uh, lead you to believe, okay? Mastery Badge Ace Tanker spotter, bruiser, fighter, and fire for effect. Unfortunately, none of the epic medals, but oh well. He was just... Mm, I think he was just a little bit shy on getting um, the patrol duty, but that's okay. <laughs> 3,000 damage dealt. <laughs> Wait, how come he didn't get the high caliber? Um, I guess too much of his team did damage? Huh. Still would have thought he'd get the high caliber. Okay, whatever. Six shots fired. One missed at the very end. Other than that, it was five for five in a tank that does not have a, a particularly good ability to hit the target. Like, it's not particularly accurate on the move. While tearing his turret half the time, while more than 10 feet away from the target, this is a miracle. Um, <laughs> that, that Type 64 was pretty much guaranteed. Everything else in this game, though, was just awesome bits of fluke lining up well. And I wonder how many games he's played where this was 0-5 to get to this point. Um, this was an awesome game. Um, and look at that, 2,500 assistance damage. Because, you know, uh, you're just, just a little bit shy. If you just just done a little bit more damage there, Great Bob, I could have thrown you into the 6K damage club. But nope, nope, you failed. You get to sit outside and wait. Look at that, he made 43,000 in this game. <laughs> this thing takes barely anything to resupply, barely anything to repair. Um... <laughs> this is an awesome tank for making money in, if you know how to play it, as with most scout tanks, actually. Thank you so much, Great Buff, for saying this in. This was a joy and an absolute shock to watch. It was great. Thank you all for watching. Again, don't forget that if you want to support the channel, the best way to do so is to hit the like button. It um, Or share it with your friends, obviously. That would help, too. Um, and so the more people we get in, the more people we hit... Uh, who hit that like button, the better the channel will do overall. And I don't m really mind about dislike buttons because that actually helps me out too. So have a great night. Thank you very much for watching as I always throw out.